All right, I'm on hole number three of the City of Light tournament. I'm in the rookie division on Monday's qualifying round. I'm in my account. I'm in my 99 account, so I got really low level clubs. All right. And I am unsure of the deal here. So there's a lot of different ways that you can play this. You can try and do a max overpower where you're landing out in this area here. So your red line is going to be somewhere out in here. And I think the wind in this tournament is blowing in this direction. So you can try and pick that up and you can land out into this zone. What I don't like about that is, is that you're, I mean, look at, look at the entire course, this entire hole. There isn't a single spot of fairway that's as narrow as the spot where you're trying to land. <laughs> And that means that if you hit a great to the left, if you hit a perfect, perfect. If you hit a great to the left to the right, uh, big, 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 big trouble. You're in the rough. Now, if you hit on the rough on the right, there is a chance that you could roll out and end up out here. You're still going to be short, but you could end up out. If you hit great to the left, you're in big, big, big trouble. So normally what I like to do if you've got upper developed stuff is if you bring a three power ball, your red line is going to be somewhere in this area and you've got a little bit of a window over here. So instead of trying to, to come here and drive it with overpower to get into this narrow spot, landing out in this area and using the curl on the ball and the side spin or the curl on the club and the side spin on the ball to bring yourself back out. Now you can see this is the, the light. This is the light putting the shadow off here. I like this area right here is like ideal because if you've got a three power ball and you've got your wood that'll give you a little bit of an opening where you can start off over here on the green side and you can actually engage the hole low and try and go right at it. If you have to hit from over here, you're forced to have to use the hill and kind of come back down to the hole. And it's very hard to get an albi. But if you've got lower developed stuff, the goal here is, is don't, don't think the word albi, think the word eagle. And if you can end up out even in this area, out in here, you do have a shot with a big dog of hitting off of this and getting up on the green, getting your eagle and going home. So the question is, because I don't practice in this account, you know, like what are my options? So option number one is bringing a bigger ball so that I can hit from this side, but I don't know that a level six extra mile, you don't you don't get that last little gasp. I think a level six extra miles only got like somewhere in the neighborhood of like 30 side spin. And you got to hit, everything's got to go your way in order to be able to clear this with 30 side spin. Now the good news is, is that you may clip it, but you'll, your momentum's going in this direction and you'll roll out and you very easily could end up in the same spot that you were here if you just tried to drive through. With lower level stuff, if you're here, and you're just trying to pop it through, you're having to go through your first bounce is here, your second bounce is here in the middle. So if your trajectory was perfect here, then you're gonna be right in the middle. But if your trajectory was off to the left or the right here, you're gonna be off to the left or right here, even worse than you would be if you tried to overpower it and be in this center. So with lower level clubs, you've got, you have some choices. And what I think I'm gonna do is bring a three power ball and I don't have a lot of kingmakers in this account, so I'm gonna bring a three power ball and let's I'm gonna I'm gonna explore it. I'm gonna explore trying to hit to the other side and trying to do the curl because if I don't catch it all, as long as I can get out into the fairway out here, I should be fine. Let's see what my options are. I've got extra mile, big dog. No matter what, I gotta bring a big dog, because I don't think I have enough. You know, I may be able to get up there into the optimal area, but more than likely the big dog is going to save me. Let's think here. Let's think. Let's put our thinking cap on. And I don't have any other choices. I mean, my only other choice is a big topper and it just because of the topspin that's on there, but the distance wise, I need a little more distance on that big topper. And I, I could use a QB. I could use a QB and bounce over. I've got pretty good, and I just don't have enough topspin on there to get me out far enough to really engage it. So I'll start this off with an extra mile and see what see what the look is. So I've got an extra mile bag and I got a QB bag. I got a QB with a big dog. Yes, I do. 
So it's either going to be bag number one or bag number four. This is the big topper with the inaccuracy right here, uh, 15, it, the, trying to hit through that narrow little neck. If you don't hit it perfect, you're in big trouble. And even if you hit it perfect, if you didn't line everything up and you didn't, all the stars weren't aligned, you're still in big trouble. So it's either going to be bag number one or bag number four. All right, here we go. Here we go. Walking down the street. Let's see what we can get done here. I usually like to go first, but I have no idea. <laughs> now we have good wind if you've got a white ball, but the problem with the white ball is, is you're not gonna be able to get over to the other side. And hitting over to here, um, that is an optical illusion. That fairway actually doesn't exist over there. The thing I don't like about that is you're hitting farther away from the end target. And if you epic fail like that, you're in big trouble. All right, let's see if I have enough to get over to the other side. I do. I'm going to eke that sucker out there. Okay, so the wind's going to push me forward to where my orange ring is. So the wind's going to push me forward out into this area. So I want to come over just a little to give myself enough room that if I hit a grate to the left, come over about half my yellow ring, maximum curl. Isn't it perfect? Let's see if that's enough to get me over onto the fairway without clipping the rough. Barely. And I ended up in the rough. Actually overhit it. And the reason I overhit it there is because I don't have a lot of curl on that club. If I'd have, you know, with 30 curl, just a little teeny bit more curl, I would have been able to get out there. So that's a good note right there, is that uh, you can get it done, but you may not have you may not have to add on all of the top spin. Regardless, the goal here is to get an eagle. And I don't think I can get it done unless I, if I can catch that one fairway up there, I'm going to try a max overpower hook just to see if I can get over to the, over to it. But I got to get up to that fairway and I don't think I have enough. Well, maybe. Not much top spin on that club. Yeah, there's no way even with a max overpower hook, I don't have a shot. If I was up into this area right here, I could try a max overpower hook shot on it and try and get up there. Let's go back and look at that one more time. Just lay it up up there and see if I can get this in with my hopefully short iron. And at least give myself a look at it. That's funny that I've been, I was thinking about this hole before I started the video and thinking, man, how am I going to get over there to the thing and then to overshoot it? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> But you could see how close I was. If you go back and rewind that video, you can see how close I was riding along the, the rough edge there. So a great to the right would have been extremely problematic in that spot. I'm going to go back and watch that video to see where I landed and how much room I have there so that I could have started the ball off maybe a little bit to the left and give myself a little more room. All right, where are we in our club? There's Max. There's Men. So we're right at mid. A little bit of backspin, a little bit of side spin, trying to keep it right at the hole. Trying to extrapolate where that next bounce is going to be. That's about a one ring pull.
Can't be perfect. Give myself a look. That's the problem with lower level clubs. You want to talk about lower level clubs, everybody talks about power, everybody talks about backspin, everybody talks about all that stuff. I would take lower level clubs with a great ball guide. Ball guide. One of the things that you pick up in upper developed clubs that, you know, you see that ball guide on there and the ball guide is so key. If you had lower developed clubs and all your ball guides were three, six to four, you'd be amazed at how much stuff you could get done with lower level clubs just having extremely good ball guide. Even if you didn't have the backspin and the power in them, that ball guide is so important. All right. First time I've used this account on this hole. Uh, second time. Having to hit back here in the back. I'll use a couple top spin here. 4-3 with my Saturn is just a titch over 3-8. Gives me five, so it's about a ring, about two and a quarter rings. Put some curl on it to bring it back towards the hole. Hitting it great to the left, which took out some of that curl. Just trying to roll it up there. See how my opponent does. Cheddar's cheddar in this account. Try and have just enough cheddar so if I get some clubs I can upgrade. It's played up to tour four. I played one tour five and opened up a rock and I was the only uh, everything's been in tour four. Accidentally went in there and played a tour five. Tour five one. And I haven't been playing higher than Tour 4 um, for any other reason than I don't really play this account. I play this account one-on-one -on -one versus my teammates occasionally, but it's been a, a tournament. It's just for a tournament. Just to demo these holes. And that was an epic fail there. So when we talk about getting the minimum score, um, I had it and overdrove that the drive was in the perfect spot and overdrove the drive which is funny um, but now being one down that's not that's that's how fast it can go when you have lower developed stuff that shot coming into the green with a short iron would have been a serious shot with upper developed stuff but because of ball guide it's really hard you've got to kind of extrapolate where those bounces are going to end up and it's very easy to end up short or long all right, that was hole number three of the City of Light Tournament in Monday's qualifying round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.